we know that on September 15th, 2021, SpaceX had launched Inspiration4 with a crew of four aboard the Resilience spacecraft. It was a three-day trip in which humans have orbited the Earth solely in the company of private citizens. SpaceX had operated this voyage, which used a Crew Dragon capsule that has already been used to go to low Earth orbit. Today, we will talk about the Jeff Bezos reaction on SpaceX's Inspiration4 and some highlights from the Inspiration4 launch. But before that, we welcome you to our YouTube channel. Thank you all for your love and support. If you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe to never miss a single update from the world of space. Recently, after the Inspiration4 launch, Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk, who have openly traded criticisms about their rocket firms, were observed being nice and friendly. Jeff Bezos congratulated Elon Musk and SpaceX on the tweet where he tweeted, Congratulations to Elon Musk and the SpaceX team on their successful Inspiration4 launch last night. Another step towards a future where space is accessible to us all. To this, Musk politely replied, Thank you. It was the first time a world spacecraft had a crew made up entirely of volunteers rather than professionals. Elon Musk's business claims the four space tourists traveled 5.5 times around the Earth, conducted their first round of scientific research, and enjoyed a couple of meals before retiring to bed. Musk said in a tweet that he has spoken with the crew and that everything is well. Billionaire Jared Isaacman, healthcare assistant Haley Arkenau, geoscientist Cyan Proctor, and aerospace data engineer Chris Zembrowski were orbiting the Earth at a height of up to 590 kilometers. This is further into space than the International Space Station's orbit of 420 kilometers, and the farthest any humans have traveled from our planet since a 2009 Hubble Observatory maintenance trip. This mission's objective is to raise money for the St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. The mission seeks to raise $200 million while also studying the biological consequences of long-term travel on astronauts' bodies. However, its primary objective is to demonstrate that space is accessible to the general public and the United States and private businesses, like SpaceX, work to further commercialize space. Last summer has been characterized by the race to the ultimate challenge between billionaires Richard Branson and Jeff Bezos. These trips, however, only provided a few minutes of weightlessness, as opposed to the Inspiration4 crew's three full days in orbit, which they experienced before splashing down on Saturday off the coast of Florida. NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida served as the launch pad for the three-day Inspiration4 mission, which was carried out by a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket and a Crew Dragon spacecraft. It splashed down in the Atlantic or Gulf of Mexico off the coast of Florida on Saturday, September 18th. Inspiration4 is an experimental mission in which no one aboard is a professional astronaut. Since May 2020, SpaceX has conducted three additional Crew Dragon missions for NASA, all of which transported professional astronauts to the International Space Station. Using only the Crew Dragon, Inspiration4 will orbit the Earth at a height of up to 364 miles, 585 kilometers, giving its crew a bird's eye view of the world from the edge of space through a revolutionary glass dome cupola. Also, SpaceX provided commercial astronaut training for Inspiration4's crew on the Falcon 9 launch vehicle and Dragon spacecraft, as well as orbital mechanics, microgravity operations, zero gravity operations, and the other types of stress testing. They have undergone emergency preparedness training, spacesuit and spaceship entry and egress exercises, as well as partial and complete mission simulations. SpaceX Mission Control kept a close eye on the multi-day journey as it followed a modified flight route that circled the Earth every 90 minutes. After the mission was accomplished, Dragon re-entered Earth's atmosphere and landed in the Atlantic Ocean. This was a brief overview on Inspiration4. However, recently, Jeff Bezos stunned the entire world as he took to social media to pen a congratulatory message for arch-rival Elon Musk post SpaceX's successful Inspiration4 launch. 
It was quite shocking since Blue Origin has sued SpaceX and even NASA for awarding that with a large space contract, which is interesting. After that, Elon Musk, the Tesla entrepreneur, made a sarcastic social media jab at Jeff Bezos and remarked on his plan to stand down as Amazon CEO as well. Musk's comments on Bezos' investment in an anti-aging research startup didn't stop there. He also gave his thoughts on the reports. Meanwhile, NASA has given contracts to both SpaceX and Blue Origin, owned by Musk and Bezos respectively, to design the moon lander mission. While Blue Origin earned a $25.6 million contract from NASA, the space agency commissioned $9.4 million to SpaceX, with the remainder of the deal going to other companies cited in the agency's announcement. After all of this, many were shocked by Bezos and Musk's recent friendly act on Twitter, given their history of public harsh remarks about one another. While Bezos and Musk engaged in friendly banter after SpaceX's successful launch, the tweets immediately caught the attention of other Twitter users who shared their perspectives on the nice interaction. Although it caught everyone's attention, many people made hilarious memes on this. Meanwhile, few people really appreciated it. The small sample size of Inspiration4 means we may not see specific data that could be identifiable for privacy purposes after the mission, but information captured will be the beginning of a larger collection of data gathered between a number of space flights going forward. Inspiration4 is the third space flight by a billionaire in 2021. The other two, both suborbital missions, were the flight of Virgin Galactic founder Richard Branson and company employees aboard the Unity 22 mission on July 11th, and the flight of Blue Origin founder Jeff Bezos and three other passengers, including noted aviator Wally Funk, flew aboard a New Shepard spacecraft on July 20. Apart from all of this, if we take a look at Blue Origin's recent update, Blue Origin also just launched Bezos and three other people into a suborbital journey on July 20th from the company's West Texas launch facility. Nine days earlier, Sir Richard Branson, founder of Virgin Galactic, launched his company's Spaceship 2 Unity space plane from New Mexico into the suborbital space. It is good to see a friendly environment between the two of them. But will it really work in the long run? Will they remain the same as they are now? Let's hope for the best. With this, we have come to the end of our video. If you loved it, make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for similar updates just like this. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.